All right, Coach. Um, obviously, you know, you've had a, a few days now to kind of evaluate your team. What, uh, what do you like so far that you've seen from this group, and um, what excites you about this team's potential so far? Well, I like our chemistry that we're uh, building right now. Um, we have a great group of guys, uh, some veterans, some guys that have been in a Mad Ant uniform in the past, and then we got some new, uh, new fresh uh, bodies coming in um, that can really excite us. Um, excite the fans in uh, Fort Wayne so just really looking forward to these guys uh, you know keep working together getting to know each other on a deeper level both on and off the court. What do you feel like the uh, kind of the identity of this team will be this year what, what will you guys hang your hat on from what you've been able to tell in practice so far? Well you know two things that we do have on this on this team is speed and size so we're going to be able um, to play both uh, fast and uh, we're going to be able to uh, execute in the half court. We need to be able to do that, um, especially in this league. Um, you know, there's a lot of high-scoring um, games in this league, but um, you know, we want to be able to, to protect that rim, and we have some size to do that. We have some speed on the perimeter, and some shooting, which is something that we haven't uh, had in, in previous years. So, um, you know, we're kind of well-rounded right now, and just really looking forward to uh, our opening night. You mentioned uh, at size with Hashim and protecting the rim. I guess how. In these first few days, how have you kind of seen him acclimate himself to his surroundings, and, and you know how's he how's he been to kind of deal with so far? He's he's done a great job, um, you know, being a, a second overall pick in the NBA, um, you know, and, and having you know success that he's had and been through a lot of um, different adversity. Um, him being here um, is kudos to him, and, and trying to get back into that NBA, um, you know, he's going to help us uh, just uh, from an intimidation factor of, of going down into the paint, but. Um, he's really locked in. He's really bought into what we're trying to do here. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing him uh, go against some of these guys in our league. How much of him, even though he's, he, this is his first year you know, as a Mad Ant, he's played so much professional basketball, how much are you looking at, at a guy like him to you know, kind of fill a leadership role for you this year? Um, huge. Um, you know, with, with our guys, even our returners, guys like Trayvon Thibodeau, um, our rookie, Jakeen and Gant, um, who was in Pacers camp and is one of our affiliates. Um, Sheem has been through a lot of different um, situations uh, on the basketball floor and, and off the court. So uh, I expect him to be a leader and be a veteran and uh, help uh, some of our young guys. Uh, Got to ask you about the local guys, Kaysen and DJ. What, what have they shown you in these first few days of practice that, that has impressed you and, and might give them a chance to make the team? You know, DJ, um, you know, obviously he was player of the year, defensive player of the year. Um, you can really tell that he picks up a lot of things quick. Um, you know, obviously having our, uh, our first NBA, you know, kind of G League camp for him um, was, was huge. He was a little nervous, but uh, he's gotten better every single day. And uh, he's, he's learned our defensive schemes. Um, he, he knows spacing now offensively, and he's really, he's really done a good job of understanding what, we, what we're trying to get out of those offensive sets. And his just personality has been great, um, always eager to... Uh, work and, and try to uh, you know be in here early and, and be late. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing him continue to do that throughout camp. Casey and Harrell, he, you know, I've watched him a couple of times last year um, at Purdue Fort Wayne games, and uh, he just knows how to play. He makes the right read. He's really conditioned himself um, over this past off season, and uh, he, he's, he's playing pretty well in camp. Um, you know, his ability to stretch the floor. And uh, his ability just to understand what we're trying to do defensively is, uh, has been pretty good in camp so far. With, uh, with Brian, um, what do the Pacers want to see from him here, and, and, and what will he be working on this season to you know, try to get himself to that next level? Well, Brian's just got to learn uh, the, the NBA game. He's got to understand spacing. Um, he needs to understand uh, what we're trying to do on the defensive end and um, understand when's a good shot, when's not, when to drive, when not to, um, and just – and just understand tendencies of guys that when we play um, opponents on a, on a nightly basis, um, you know he's a he's a sponge right now. So we're trying to throw as much stuff as we can at him, so he can uh, so he can learn and just uh, adapt every game. For you personally, um, how how hungry did how much more hungry did last year make you? You know, not being able to, to make the playoffs to you know come back this year, and, and obviously you got a you know a talented roster to try to get back there with. Uh, that's that's one of our goals. You know, this year. Um, Obviously, we're going to try to win every single game, but I want to get back to those playoffs. We have a great group right now. Um, obviously, we haven't seen all the other teams, but I like what um, our depth looks like in camp. Um, we have size. We have speed. We have veteran guys who have played really well in this league for, uh, you know, with other teams in the league and with, uh, with us in the Mad Ants. So 
expectations are high, and I'm looking forward to that and going into every single game trying to win that game with and do whatever it takes. Uh, what are going to be the strengths of this team moving forward? Well, I, I think our ability to shoot the ball, um, the fact that we have some veteran guys that can spread, um, you know, with, with Hashim being so big, um, you know, playing four guards and playing him in, inside and being that roller and being that rim protector on the defensive end, I think that's going to be huge for us. Um, we do have a, a deep team. We got have guys like Ike Nuamu and Demetrius Denzel Dyson coming off the bench and C.J. Wilcox, who, was, who has a couple of years in the NBA, who can really stretch it. He's an elite uh, three-point shooter. Um, so, you know, those are the things I'm really looking forward to. And, you know, we're going to throw out a bunch of different lineups, a big lineup, a small lineup, a shooting lineup, and really just adapt throughout um, every game. Uh, what do guys like Hashim and Brian bring to this team? Uh, Hashim obviously is his rim protection, his size. Um, you know the, the fact that he's been he's been kind of working on his jumper a little bit. That's one thing that um, you know was one of maybe one of his weaknesses or, or, or one of the things he really wanted to try to improve um, over the last couple of years, uh, especially in the off season. And then Brian just brings his knack for the ball. Um, playing professionally last year in Australia. I think really helped him. You know, he just turned 20 years old, so he still has a lot to learn. But uh, going against grown men, uh, I, I think really will benefit him for this upcoming season. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach. Thanks, coach.